Okay, Brad and I were uh, back at the creek bottoms. Brad has got an old uh, logging wedge. Wait till you see this weird shell I got, though. Look how tapered that thing is. I couldn't even read the stamp on it. That's because we're both blind. It says... <laughs> it's another language. <laughs> is it really? It's like German or something. You sprickin'? <laughs> it says Nuremberg. Okay, I did not know what this is. Is that part of a shoe or something? I have no clue. It's interesting. Well, call me out, guys. Alright, I think I might have my first good relic. Look at that. Nice little clip. Ooh. That's got some fancy schmancy on it. That's real nice. Wow, I like that one. Hey, I might be onto something. This is right next to that uh, cliff. Look at that, I got me a nice fork. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever dug a complete fork before. It's awesome. So here's another one. So that, that's got to be a toe tap, right? I think the last one had to be too. It's got to be what that is. Man, I, I just don't have enough experience with this. Not today, but the second one. Axe Master Brad, that's two. Yeah, but see, we're all, all of a sudden we're finding personal items right in this area. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> I can't believe this thing Brad just got. Uh, wow. Looks like it's broke down here, maybe. Yeah, but see, that had to be like off the house or something. Yeah, fence poster pillar off the house marking or something what's the back look like is it hollow yeah man that's a good candidate for electrolysis right there it's the key to the city <laughs> something different boom all right we're in it guys look i think i got oh another fork <laughs> a two fork day fork and a what the heck we're in the kitchen. Oh, I think that's another one of those. I guess I'm calling them toe taps. <laughs> Maybe it's a heel plate. I think it's a toe tap though. I was just saying, I want a cool button. And look at that, I got it. That is military and a shank. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. That's amazing. It's a little dinged up in the middle, but I love it. That's great. There is a chance. I really don't know Brad that well. <laughs> what a hatchet job. <laughs> it could be an axe murderer. <laughs> what the heck? Three? Half of one. Three in a day. Wow. All right. We're in it. <laughs> Another toe tap. <laughs> I've never dug one before. Now I got four in one day. Or whatever they are. It's got to be. Those are little baby feet, though. Brad's got himself a nice little jar lid. Porcelain's perfect. Look at that. Awesome. This one. So it looks like I just got me another army button. But this one's been plow whacked. If you look in there close, you can see the shank in there. And there's the shield on the eagle. So 
Wow, too bad that one. I don't know if I'd be able to get that one back into shape, but I'll sure try. That's cool though. Another button. Oh man. Now that's some horse tack, I guess, huh? Brad just got that one. Man, that's a that is a candidate for some electrolysis. That thing's beautiful. That's weird. So there must have been a strap that went this way, that way, and this way, huh? Breastplate buckle or something. That's cool. <laughs> no. It is, I believe, some sort of a scutcheon. It's broke right there. So I would have screwed in. A whatchin? It's like decorative, you know, like furniture stuff or... Oh. Yeah. It's pretty heavy duty though, so it's probably on the outside of the house. Probably not like on a chest. Yeah. What's this thing, guys? Looks like the patent is uh Yeah. Oh, I think it says August 1st of 93. That's probably 1893. It says Britain. Great Britain. So that was a while ago, too. I see a buckle in the hole. Let's see what we got. You know, that one looks a lot like the other one, just a little smaller. It's a beauty. Okay. Now this is close to the last clip. And that looks like it's just kind of a piece of one. Still a neat recovery though. Yeah, let's keep going. You know, Brad, <laughs> are you going to be able to haul these axe heads out of here? That's number probably, four, man. Probably another one right here. <laughs> Crazy. This one's been through a little use. I've never seen so many axe heads <laughs> dug in one day, dude. What the heck is that? Whatever it is, you own it. I think I might have me a little button here. Or is that like a snap? That's more like a snap, isn't it? Well, it looks like I got me a button. Looks pretty torched, though. I don't think I'm going to get anything off that one. Dude, look at that old lock. Where's the skeleton key that goes with that thing? Machines are chattering. Dead bolts right there. Yeah, that's a sweetie. Boom. Like a mixing. Brad is on frickin' fire. Look at this frickin' spoon. Yeah, man. All you need is a new wooden handle for that sucker. Looks like it's got like the mixing attachment on there. It was part of the mixer or something at some point. It's a big one. Boom. Is that my, your best spoon ever? It's my largest spoon ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad found another axe type thing. I'm not sure. Some sure. sort of cutting tool. It's real sharp. Boom. It's like five, right? Five. <laughs> All right, that was a fun little hunt after work. Just a few hours. This is most of Brad's haul, minus <laughs> that really huge, cool thing and a bunch of his axes and stuff, but we couldn't fit it all on here. So much stuff. But of course, you got the nice spoon, 
awesome buckle. We don't know for sure what that piece is, but it looks like some sort of hatchet or wedge or something. This is a pretty cool one we didn't get on camera. We do not know what that is, but it's super fancy. It's got a very big uh, early 1900s uh, slug from the military. Got this sweet button. And then probably his find of the day was this lock. And of course he's gonna have to work on it. But it looks to me like it says it has a patent date of November 15th, 1864. So that is super cool. I got two forks. <laughs> I busted one because I'm dumb. <laughs> Still haven't figured out what this thing is. Hopefully one of you guys know. And seems like these are toe taps. This is uh, kind of like Brad's bullet there. But that one's been, that one hit. And yeah, he also got the, I forgot to show, he has this cool lid. We have to do some work on that. There's a bunch of writing, we can't tell. And then I got these clips, but these two are just awesome. I love the little detail on that one. Hopefully I can bend this button back somewhat, figure out what that is. And if anybody knows what year these are, that'd be sweet if you could tell us. I got this little part, not sure what it is. And then another toasted button. I forgot to show this, this is Brad's. You don't know what that is either. So anyways, fun little hunt. If you like what you're seeing, Hit that subscribe button. See you next time.